Bridgeport Manor is located on the eastern border of Ohio. It's a relatively small 51 unit senior community. I'm Matt Rule. I'm the Senior Vice President of Housing Development with National Church Residences. It's a rural community and it has a aging population with a dozen folks over the age of 75. We knew that there were some accessibility issues that we needed to tackle per unit. We did about $60,000 in the renovation. You know, we got in the residence units, did everything from flooring to new cabinets to new appliances. We added a number of roll-in showers. There were some things that certainly addressed the visitability and the accessibility of the units. And then others were really just trying to provide a more dignified home for the seniors that were there. I lived in Lansing for 18 years. I was renting from this lady and everybody raised their rent like a thousand dollars. Plus, you have to pay all your utilities. Well, people like me can't afford it. The average income of a senior at Bridgeport Manor is $10,000 a year. That was really compelling to us organizationally and to OFA as we realized we were serving the most vulnerable folks in our state. It's a nice building. We have a lot of nice people here. We feel like a family and it just feels like home to me. I lived kind of out in the country. It was too much house. It was hard getting the driveway shoveled out from the snow and keeping grass cut. I was getting too old for that. So I just decided to downsize where somebody else could take care of the shoveling of snow and the mowing of grass. Just recently, I had a bout with my heart and the neighbors were very good. They would see that I had something to eat and kind of took care of me for a few weeks. That made it really nice. I really like living here. Yes, it's affordable, you know. With my Social Security, I, I make it, you know, and I have some friends that help me. The programs they have here at the housing, that helps me too. And they have the senior boxes that you can get and different kind of food, whatever they get donated to you, take what you want. That really helps. Well, it's wonderful. My kids are happy that I'm here and if I don't have to depend on them. I can relax and just enjoy my life. We should all remember whether it's in a rural community like Belmont County or whether it's in a urban community like Franklin County, Seniors want to age in the communities where they grew up, you know, where they live their lives, where they've established their peer groups and their relationships and their friendships. They want to age near the church they attend and, you know, near their grocery store that they frequented for the last 40 or 50 years. We can't lose sight of that. Senior affordable developments are really important in these communities because it allows a senior to stay in the community that, that they've made a life in and they've made a home in.